Hello friends, this is Rahul Magan here is a Group Chief Executive Officer at Reishi Consulting and also a Venture Capitalist standing today which is 14th September 2019 practically 7 p.m. in the evening we are going to be shooting a very important video about integrated world which is accounting, auditing, treasury and technology. So the title of the video is integrated world accounting, auditing, treasury and technology. But before starting this video, I would like to give you good news that Treasury Consulting has is all set to filing for a bank license in Singapore in October 2019. And there are four multi-billion desks which are under designing, which includes the commodities desk, the DCM, debt to capital market, defense desk, and our latest, which is IRS, interest rate swap, Ganesh. So we are not teaching anything. We are preaching that, preaching that as well. Now, before starting this video, I would like to tell you a very small story because that story is also related to this video. When I started my career in Treasury in 2007, the world used to be completely different. We were having dedicated Treasury guys like me who used to deal in the forward, options, swaps, IRS, forward rate agreement, OIS and all different kind of products. Basically, the financial market expert. We used to have the dedicated people in accounting world who used to understand the Indian gap, the US gap, the IFRS, well in 2007 the IFRS was not there. Although Infosys used to make their financial, uh, financial reporting in IFRS at that point of time which was literally an exception. So majority of the uh, basically the books were uh, in India they were under, in, under uh, basically Indian accounting standards right. And we were having different people who were taking care of the auditing. In fact, today it is also exist when we have internal audit team, statutory auditor, EY, PWC, you know how well they are doing their job. It's EY, PWC, KPMG or Deloitte. You pay them money, they do anything for you. That is, they, they reach at that level, you pay them money and they can do anything for you. And then you have technological domain which covers the technological piece like Murex and Calypso. How competent is the Murex and Calypso? We know very well. But today in 2019, when the countries where we based out, which is Singapore, is getting extremely competitive. Although, at the same point of time, I nowadays never felt shy saying so that Singapore is turning no more an exception. Because London Stock Exchange, because Hong Kong Stock Exchange, in the last week, well, there are multiple action happened in the last week, like one of the action that happened is on the CDS front. When is the International Swap and Derivative Association came up with the revised guidelines on the, on the CDS, which is credit default swap. We are evaluating these guidelines and we're going to be writing to ISTA about that. At the same point of time, the ARRC Alternative Rate Reference Committee, they came up with a different timeline for LIBOR and they came up with the FRN. Floating Rates Node Transition Plan. I don't know how many of you are reading one business newspaper in a day, spending 2-3 hours on Google in a daily. My schedule is like that, every day in 2-3 to three hours I spend a lot of time on Google to check it out who is doing who. So three top developments which pertains to this video in the last week is that Hong Kong bid it for the London Stock Exchange and London Stock Exchange is now bidding for Refinitiv. Refinitiv already bought uh, a part of uh, Reuters, right? There is a speculation that Bloomberg business is also on sale and the internal sources does suggest that the equity desk of the Bloomberg has already been moved to Hong Kong and there is a lot of retrenchment which is happening in the Bloomberg also. But we are not in a position to confirm but internal sources does suggest that. The another important thing is that ISTA, International Swap and Derivative Association came up with the revised guidelines on CDS and they are applicable from 1st January 2020 which is practically 4 to 5 months from now. So banks are already reeling under a lot of pressure because Basel 3 is getting live 2023. The revised of SFTR, Security Financing Transaction Regulation is again getting live in 2020. There is a news that the MIFID second revised is on the way. MS610 risk aggregation and statistics reporting by Monetary Authority of Singapore is coming in 2020, uh, I think 2000 and, uh, yes, 2020. LIBOR transition is happening in 2021. So a lot of interesting thing is happening. But actually we are busy as a country, India is busy in Article 370, Fit in India, 
make in India and you should know that Ford has decided to wind up one of their uh, I would say plants car making plants in Gujarat so <laughs> the government who decided make in India the Ford wanted to wind up the plant in their state anyways so this development is putting putting a lot of pressure on the treasury world and now treasury is getting integrated because Singapore is is putting hard, is going very hard in artificial intelligence machine learning blockchain deep learning and a lot of neutral networks and a and, and lot of many things but the success rate is very poor and this fintech festival which is going to happen from 11th November to 15th November 2019 and of course being a Singapore based company we would be there pretty much there it's we going to see that how Singapore is going to be showcasing their capability and I hope that some virtual bank would be there to showcase their capability as well but the time will tell we don't know about that so we have decided to make this in a in a piecemeal and what this piecemeal is that one is the accounting domain now what is this accounting domain is that previously accounting domain is US gap now US gap is slowly slowly winding up and Indian gap IND is Indian accounting standard by Institute of Chartered Economy of India in fact Institute himself acknowledged that this is nothing but the copycat of the of the IFRS the only difference is control C control V and control H which is find and replace that's it so these IFRS reporting standards which is IFRS 7 disclosures IFRS 13 valuation IFRS 9 derivative these are integrated with the Treasury at a very faster pace and considering Singapore which is already on the IFRS from 1st January 2018 although in public domain not many issues being raised but privately and confidentiality people are letting us know that the companies and specifically the banks the big corporates in the Singapore are facing very much issue as far as the IFRS transition is concerned but unfortunately this is not coming in the public domain so IFRS transition has not been planned appropriately in Singapore I'm not saying not been planned, not been implemented rightly by the consultants and they include Big Four as well. Slowly you will get to know the, how the mess up is happening in the IFRS. Today if you wanted to be in the treasury world and you are planning your career in the treasury, be in, in, whatever, in a corporate side or in a bank side, you need to have a thorough understanding of the IFRS. If you do not have thorough understanding of the IFRS, then your growth path in the treasury domain is pretty limited. Because sooner or later, IFRS would be the reality. Now, there is an uh, informal news which is there in public domain that by 2020, IFRS would be completely applicable on India. And I am 200% sure that Reserve Bank of India will find 200 excuses in 2020 not to implement IFRS in India. And one of the basic is the ECL, which is expected credit losses. We're going to have separate video about ECL in the NBFC soon when the time would permit us. So being a treasury person, you need to have a very thorough understanding of the IFRS. If you do not have the thorough understanding of the IFRS, it's good for nothing. Then you need the auditing. In the auditing, you need to understand the, the computation methodology. We already created two videos about counterparty portfolio risk management desk, wherein we already had a word about the seven XVAs, CVA, DVA, which is credit valuation adjustment, debit valuation adjustment and all, they are relatively getting very important nowadays. And I have already shown you a video that when the three different banks of the globe, like Singaporean banking system is more or less focusing here, while European banking system is focusing here, you would be surprised to know. And in fact, I do not have any quantification with me. By quantification, I mean I do not have a backup with me because I read this on risk.net, right? which is that the total issue total m sorry it's 46 total mva which is margin valuation adjustment on on the exposure which is on the etd exchange traded derivatives that tantamount to 46 billion euro 46 billion euro is the gap while on the contrary us bank are here they are more focusing on the kva capital valuation adjustment and funding valuation adjustment if you really wish to make your career in treasury function and do not want it to do the filing job, filing and printing of the job, you need to have the thorough understanding of the all seven. Well, the big boys, Goldman, JP, City and all, they are moving towards managed platform service. 
and these big boys will decide the future of these seven but i'm sure that sooner or later these big seven would be a potential career opportunity in the banking so a heads up is pretty important as a company also we are taking a heads up and in the next four months there is a lot of action you will see on a treasury consulting front that's my promise on the contrary we need to have a very good understanding of this uh, valuation valuation hierarchy by valuation hierarchy i mean uh, it is level one level two and level three us cap ifrs indas do not have much difference in the valuation hierarchy I'm not uh, very pleased to say that, but the hard reality is that US cap valuation hierarchy L1, L2, L3, while uh, you know the IFRS valuation hierarchy more or less they are same, almost same, right? And unfortunately, part is that although there are multiple USPs, unique selling proposition we have on IFRS. And one of the unique selling proposition is the ECL. You have a lot of unique selling proposition. We have a separate video in that regard. But unfortunately, what I expect, what I expected from IFRS is to have some differentiation in L1, L2, and L3, which was definitely not the case. So here, unfortunately, ISB, International Accounting Standard Board, the custodian of IFRS, they disappointed me. But it's something which might not be in their hand as well. We don't know. Being a treasury person, you need to understand how to compute the valuation. Well, if you get any time, which is very precious, you downloaded the annual report of the top banks of the globe, which include big boys like Goldman, JP, Standard Chartered, Barclays, City, HSBC, London, and few top corporates like Apple. In US, we term this as a 10K actually, which is Apple, say Accenture, which is Cognizant, which is Facebook, which is Microsoft, and which is Google, the top. In all the annual reports, you will get uh, the name which I mentioned from a corporate angle like Apple, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, Accenture, Commerce, and they are leading exporters. You should also download ExxonMobil, which is the largest petrochemical company of the globe. While if you download their annual reports, you would be surprised to know that majority of their derivative instruments which they have in their books are either priced L2 and L1, L2 and L1. While if you downloaded the annual report of the big boys, which is Goldman, Standard Chartered, HSBC, City, and all, a very different scene would create. And the scene would be they are having a lot of instruments at here. And this is the eighth, I would say the ninth wonder for me in the globe. There are eight wonders we have in the globe, and the ninth for me is that, you know, which is that how come when we look at the top corporates of the globe, either from the export angle, from the import angle, Majority of their derivatives are L1 and L2. While if you look at the bank angle, basically from whom I take the derivative? I take the derivative from bank. I'm not, so if ExxonMobil, which is a petrochemical company, basically an importer, wanted to cover their position, they don't call Google directly, right? And Google don't call uh, ExxonMobil directly. Google will interact with JP Morgan, while JP Morgan interact with Exxon. And this interbank trades will continue. So the basic, the harsh reality of the game is that, which is corporate, roughly 90% is here, while bank over 70, 75% is here. And the important learning part in the life is that a lot of movement is happening. Like which is the movement of, let me write here, movement of L1 to L2, L3, and vice versa also, which is L3 to L2, and like that and sometimes here also a lot of movement is happening in that being a treasury expert you should understand how this movement is happening that to legitimately legally law binding as per the accounting standards the cfa certified financial analyst the frm faltu risk management and grp garp all these courses who charge thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars from you, including the examination, the material, the preparation, the coaching and all fees, they never tell you that how you can move from L1 to L2, subsequently L2 to L3 and vice versa. And that too, legally, legitimately. I'm not talking about the movement which is not legitimate. I'm talking about the legitimate movement. But these fake degrees, I call them fake degrees, it doesn't matter who is the custodian. 
which is certified financial analyst and faltu risk management specifically they never talk about that and people those who are doing cfa now let me tell you uh, just a simple case one week before we got a call i got a message i did share it on my whatsapp group as well from one of the iitns i don't mention his name actually in public domain maybe he is watch he is himself watching that video so he told me that uh, you know i did cfa frm and they are not practical courses can you suggest how iitns take their career forward excuse me is it my duty to let you know how to take your career forward you went for cfa did you was not aware that this is an integral part of the treasury which your so called certified financial analyst is not taught you wasn't you aware that the garp or the frm which is faltu risk management is not not teaching you the degrees are based on the knowledge which is useless now but unfortunately no one talking but i am talking because now we are heading as a bank and we are not worried about anyone god go to hell these institution because treasury consulting is capable enough and treasury consulting is launching so many things in the next 6 months that it would be big mess up in the system that is going to get happen so to summarize the the half of the video if you really wish to be a treasury expert and want to do your career to at the highest level then you need to have a very good understanding of the accounting domain and specifically ifrs us gap understanding will add a value and a bonus while the auditing understanding has to be immaculate immaculate in english the lexical means perfect it has to be perfect here comes my favorite of course these two are also my favorite my favorite you need to be pretty good in derivatives you know which is plain vanilla derivative exotic derivative structure direct tag there are 17 principles of direct tag which includes mar mr mr1 european market infrastructure regulation 1 and 2 which includes your uh, frtb fundamental review of the trading book which includes sftr security financing transaction regulation so complete is 7 the complete listing available on our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global you would be surprised to know that some courses you know the name charging thousands of dollars but they not teaching even one of the 17 principles but the people those who are doing this courses expect them to be hired by the bank expect to be hired by goldman the best hedge funds vanguards the best trading platforms who are in us europe and different parts of the globe now tell me one thing as an entrepreneur spending thousands of dollar in a in a degree which do not teaching me even one of the 17 what's the use what's the use boss so this piece is of course pretty important and which in a in a futuristic concept includes plain vanilla derivative exotic derivative structured derivatives rectech principles and it is growing it is growing no one ever thought no one ever thought that the first january 2020 would be the revised guidelines of cds which is credit default swap will come into the picture i was not aware but it happened and now i am reading i am reading the isda guidelines of the revised cds which includes a mol function cds an intended mol function cds during my entire treasury career from 2007 2007 which is official 2007 till 2016 when i resigned right and, and now i have my own treasury desk in singapore and india we never thought that ista and cds to the ista and uh, uh the ista came up with the definition of mol function and intended mol function cds but we are learning but is these so called degrees the so called certifications are even bothered to share a newsletter with the people those who already did that to let them know that ista came up with a revised draft and how many of you even know that the revised cds guidelines are going to applicable from 1st january 2020 but all the big boys goldman JP City Standard Chartered HSBC Barclays Bank of America ANZ Westpac and all the big boys they are now ready and we are evaluating we are in touch with all big boys you know 
you know my professional networks we are in touch with all big boys and let's see how the thing would happen but no one ever thought that this 17 which i mentioned is already 18 and probably by the time december 2019 would go and the entire globe will welcome first january 2020 this would be 22 that is but if you're expecting your treasury career by not knowing even one of 17 and you're expecting them to be get hired in the big boys like goldman then i'm sorry it will never happen you may get a job in the back office but that might not serve the purpose definitely not serve the purpose and of course the last includes the bank balance sheet there is a lot of talk on the public media in the social media on linkedin and of course we participating on the uh, IR uh, framework of bank balance sheet is it is happening. We are raising a concern sooner or later the video would come Expected credit losses reporting is something which is very difficult and the mess up is happening US has clearly said that they are not going to be Accepting the current guidelines of the ECL rather they have put their own own uh, Card on the table and that card is they're gonna have a revised guidelines on CECL which is current expected credit losses. I think US regulators are making ECL a mess. ECL is already ECL. I don't know how many people know, but ECL is as per IFRS, which is uh, International Financial Reporting Standard, ISP, International Accounting Standard Board. While CECL, current expected credit losses, is as per the US CAP, which is FASB, Financial Accounting Standard Board. If FASB will come their own their own way of uh, CECL while ECL will continue to be the in the picture is just like you are having one movie and the same actor is same uh, Hollywood personality say Will Smith for an example my favorite so Will Smith is an actor an actor and also a villain the so same actor is a villain and also an actor but pretty interesting we need to see so the next five years I am telling you, we are not only heading as a bank, but a lot of action happening in the banking front. I think the fantastic moment of the life is going, is going to get happen. Fourth, very important, which is the uh, legacy based product to be handled by Murex and Calypso. But if they are thinking they would rule longer, no, we are here. Simple. Now, treasury management system is already have defined in their terms. Front office, middle office and back office. This is something they do not have and the big boys, Goldman, JP have their own prop terminals for that. Goldman hold their risk office and this is their prop application. Prop means the property application of the Goldman. Why? Thomson Reuters, Bloomberg are making a lot of changing in their applications but to an extent they are useful but sometimes they are not useful. Like EMSS which is uh, execution management system of Bloomberg. It has not uh, revised completely over the period of the time and we need to see. There are a lot of issues we have but at least compared to Murex and Calypso they are doing something. That I agree. Then you have the single model XVA, multi model and the hybrid model XVAs. This is something very very futuristic. A lot of action is happening. Banks know September or October 2023 when the basal guidance would be applicable worldwide they cannot say no. And by that time, and maybe much before than that, and specifically for the big boys like Goldman and all, they cannot wait for 2023. They need these, either of these three. And I don't know which bank will go what way, but I guess that Goldman will go definitely here hybrid using managed platform service. But we don't know. We cannot say right now. Together, all four, which is accounting, auditing, treasury, and technology, they integrate into one which is known as bank trading desk. So there are many fake institutions we have worldwide and fake degrees who will claim that they can make you trader. But today in a treasury domain you cannot, you cannot work in a trading platform environment. You cannot work in a trading platform environment until you are at least master of one, which according to me is the master of this and the jack of three, which is this is a jack, this is a jack and this is a jack. If you really wish to make your treasury career extendable, right? 
you make your treasury career far ahead you want the pr you want the marketing whatever when what not you need to have at least master of one for me that is this but treasury consulting is a master of all it's not master of one and jack of all for you it could be master of one and jack of all and this together end up sum together sum up which is known as treasury uh, bank treasury, bank trading desk to cut the long discussion short treasury is changing at a very faster pace and it has to there are many fake institutions like fimda like uh, i don't want you to name a college which which is being uh, uh, where the father father of that college is rbi reserve bank of india we have one college in the faridabad in india you know the name of that college it is governed under ministry of finance several hundred students in these colleges are spending several hundred thousands and lakhs of rupees to get a piece of paper which do not taught them which do not taught them accounting auditing treasury and technology but they every minute the time they join these colleges they dreamt to become a part of this place and that to specifically goldman and hsbc jp and all while the fake degrees like certified financial analyst faltu risk management are charging thousands of dollars and people spending several thousand dollars sometimes in a multiple attempt to clear the exam and they do not end up even knowing that how to officially move from l1 to l2 l2 to l3 and vice versa but they claim to be a cfa certified financial analyst right i know the right definition is the chartered financial analyst but it is not it doesn't matter to me you thumbs down on the youtube it i disregard that because i am a plain speaker i'm not sponsored by cfa and this is not ptm who will speak what softbank want us to speak with this we thank you very much you know my mobile number plus 91 which is an indian code 9899242978 Nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight, and don't forget our fixed income platform www dot fixed income dot global. Four multi billion desk are under design. You heard me right. Multi billion desk are under design. Right, and Treasury Consulting fixed income platform sooner in the next two to three years would be Amazon in finance. and i don't need anybody's approval for that because my last line i don't teach i preach right whatever i told you here 1 2 3 and 4 i preach have a good time and talk soon